After the last video, I decided to submerge half of the shell inside in a muriatic acid. I was so excited that I forgot okay, to put my gloves on. Holes, yeah. But I was very Just careful. Um, I do suggest putting your gloves on, guys. Um, I submerged it halfway with the coat hanger is holding it. Started to bubble and in about 10 minutes, you see the bubble start, started to bubble more and more. About 10, 15 minutes, I looked and most of the shell in the bottom was gone. And I think a piece of it fell in the bottom. It's just dissolving. So it's just here, it's bubbling more. You just, uh, I, try, I looked at it. I, I lifted the whole thing, looked at it. It had a small piece on it, um, but I put it back. And about 45 minutes later, you will see the result. You will be amazed. I'm coming up with a few cool ideas now. And now this one here is a lot easier than using uh, a ceramic saw to cut the shell. <laughs> it's a mess, but with this one here, if you want to see what the other side looks like, it's you dissolved see almost. Piece sticking on this one here. And it's still sharp edges in the bottom of it. So I put it back. This was about 20 minutes later. So I put it back and I, I, if you have a bottle of water, a spray bottle of water, spray the top. Just spray a little bit so that acid and foam kind of go down. It won't do anything to it, but I, uh, this one here is about 45 minutes later. I picked it up and I just uh, rinse it. Make sure you have your uh, gloves on. Make sure you have, you have your goggles on. I sprayed it from far away. And then uh, look at it. It's cool. I, I'm coming up with some new ideas now. You see that? That's really cool. And it's very smooth too. It's not sharp. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe. Leave me some of your comments. Please click the like button. And let's see what else we can do here.